Gauteng Education MEC Matome Chulwane says parents need to work hard at keeping their children in check at home. This after grade 8 pupil from Oakdale Secondary School in Ennerdale was stabbed to death by another pupil this week. The incident is reported to be influenced by gangsterism in the area. What we're doing here today, uh, we're going to firstly leave security here. Uh, we're going to secure the school. We intend to put uh, quite a number of security guards. Amongst them, obviously, at night, we're also going to patrol, not only with guards, but also we are using a new method of dogs now uh, that will guard our schools to guard infrastructure. You know, dogs are quicker. If there's a problem, uh, they can be able to alert us. So this is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to leave almost in excess of almost 10 guards for between day and night. Uh, to look after the school and the beauty about everything the community has come on board I just had a discussion with the local leaders including the councillor who have said community members around the school have, have committed to come every day to work with what the initiative that we put in place uh, the patrollers that we'll be putting in place as well as the, the wardens that will be coming here regularly uh, to do search and seizure uh, but this, this, oh, this, is, this is what we've been saying we're calling on parents to really, really, really work with the schools because discipline can only be learned at home. Uh, and, 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 and parents have left that to schools. And we have problems of that because now these kids were fighting in school, but we're able to quell the situation and control it. But as they exit, it's, it's a whole different uh, issue because the assumption is that once they leave school gates, they're going home. But if they don't go home and they start fighting, it becomes something else. So this is what we experienced here and what we've been experiencing across in many of our schools, especially when the incidences of stabbing and any other form of violence.